Next, before we head out to Johnson University and an interview from the dugout of the Comcast Chicago Bandits, the library and the Bandits have something going on for the last home game of the season. I'm Rachel Peterson. I work for the Chicago Bandits. I'm a group sales and promotions intern, and we are very excited to have Gail Borden Library out to a Bandits game on August 17th. The game is at 3.05, and if you bring your library card, tickets are only $5 for each person. Yes, we're going to do a bunch of promotions regarding reading and writing and spelling, and we might do um, Wheel of Fortune and Spelling Bee and just different promotions during the innings. You can bring a library card from any library that you have, and then you can also sign up for a library card at the field when you get there on game day. Part of the exciting part of the game is throwing out the first pitch. Who will throw it out on the 17th? Carol Muddle will be throwing it out. She's the executive director for Gail Borden Library. She's won lots of uh, honors throughout this year, but this should be the biggest. Yes, I think she will be very excited. Hopefully we'll get her in some bandits apparel. <laughs> Ooh, put her in a uniform or at least give her a hat. <laughs> this trip to the Gail Borden Public Library brings wonderful news not only for the library itself, but for all of our community, as Denise Raleigh has the exciting details. We recently won an award, but I have to tell you, it's a community-based win. As always, it was the John Cotton Dana uh, award. We went out to California to just pick it up, and it's about community relations in the library world. It's, it is the most prestigious award that the American Libraries Association awards and so we're very proud of this community and this library for this for being uh, earning this award. Well, congratulations and uh, you said you went out to California to receive it. This was for the, well, the many things you do but specifically what was it for? It was uh, for our Space Dare to Dream project. Uh, it was supported locally by the Grand Victoria Foundation and it was about bringing the community in around summer reading. It was a delightful, wonderful experience, and it captivated this community, and it made our numbers of summer reading entrants really just uh, rocket up. And so we are very pleased with the educators that were involved in this that made it all happen. And there was just so many, so much community involvement. And that's one of the reasons we won the award. As we look at the, uh, the winning uh, plaque itself, there's some wonderful wordage on here. And I, I know that's very proud. Oh, yes. And it's all about the community. It's about our education community who helped develop the project, uh, helped with the workshop, helped make, bring it alive to children and get children interested in space. It, uh, it was about volunteers. We had Galileos who dressed up in uh, the, the workshop and talked about the whole space project to people who were visiting. We had the St. Edward's football team that it helped bring in uh, the flatbeds of materials that would be on exhibit. And we had uh, Toya Randall of the Grand Victoria Foundation. She led our astronaut parade. So tremendous number of volunteers involved in this. Local businesses were great. They put our posters all over town. They gave people a discount if they brought in their space, their Orbit Elgin brochure. So they were involved. There was a tremendous number of local people that made this a success. The public officials were fantastic here. Almost everyone we invited showed up to support the students who spoke to Clay Anderson on the International Space Station. They all came. Last but not least, probably one of the most important ingredients was our library staff. They were there throughout. They put up with uh, probably a higher noise level than used to. Um, they they helped with making this connection with the International Space Station. First time ever happened at a public library. They learned how to turn on machines, turn off machines. Uh, they worked with the exhibits. They learned a lot about space. And most importantly, is they got folks in this community interested in space. Uh, so we had tremendous results, and it was a number of factors. But really, it's a win for this community. Wonderful work, Denise, and congratulations to all.